Hi, Larry, WD0AKX, and I'm going to do a little demo for you. Generally speaking, on antennas, a driven element, the larger the diameter, the broader the bandwidth. So I'm going to do a little experiment here and show you how that works. I'm going to use uh, some test elements here, cut for approximately the 2 meter band, about 19 and a half inches, quarter wave. So I'm going to use some elements uh, from 1 16th of an inch in diameter all the way up to uh, 3 inches in diameter. Now this is not a scientific test by any means, so don't take it that way. We're just doing a fun little experiment here and a little demo, kind of show you how this works. Now uh, you may have heard of a cage dipole for the HF bands. That's where they use several wires in parallel, the same length, um, to make the element appear as a much larger diameter element. And same basic principles, not to be confused with a fan dipole, that's totally different. So uh, let's go outside and let's take a look uh, here. So here's a cheap and easy test fixture I come up with here that allows me to connect my coax to the, the ground side to the ground radials here and the center pin of the coax, the center to the driven element. I did bend my radials at about a 45 degree angle downward to help give me a better impedance match for 50 ohms. And I can slip uh, each element into one of the holes here and connect the center of the coax, the wire, to each driven element for testing. I cut each driven element to uh, 19 and a half inches. It should get me close to the 2 meter hand band, to 144 to 148 megahertz. And uh, the radi ground radials are slightly longer. And I have the elements for testing here on the left, and I have my antenna analyzer on the right. And this one doesn't have a frequency counter built in, so I have a separate frequency counter. We should be able to test it here, so let's uh, give it a try. This is my setup for testing here outdoors on a ladder. We'll start out by testing the 1 16th inch diameter element. So we'll start out with the first element, the 1 16th of an inch uh, diameter. We find our resonant point at about 146.5 MHz and our 2 to 1 SWR point at about 140 MHz. And our 3 to 1 SWR point ends up about 135 MHz. I'm just rounding things off here. We'll just come up to the upper edge now of the band and find that our 2 to 1 SWR ends up at about 158 MHz and our 3 to 1 SWR ends up at about 166 megahertz, giving us about an 18 megahertz bandwidth for the 2 to 1 SWR. And we'll now move on to the 3 8 inch diameter element and give that a try. We find our resonant point at about 150 megahertz here. The dial's a little touchy there. And we'll find our 2 to 1 SWR point at about 140 megahertz and our 3 to 1 SWR point at about 132 megahertz. And we'll move up to the Upper side next, uh, upper part of the band here, we'll tune up and we'll find our 2 to 1 SWR point at about 160 megahertz and my analyzer only goes up to 172 megahertz and we're still okay up there. So now we'll move up to the 1 inch outer diameter element here. We find here that our resonant point is at about 148 megahertz. And our 2 to 1 SWR point is at about 132 megahertz. And our 3 to 1 is at about 127 megahertz. So we'll come back and uh, we'll move up in the band. And we'll find our 2 to 1 point at about 158 megahertz here. And as on the last element, when I tune up towards 172 megahertz, uh, the reading is still below 3 to 1. That's as high as my uh, device will test here. And let's move on to our largest element, the 3 inch diameter. And we find the resonant point here is at about 150 megahertz. And our 2 to 1 SWR point on the lower side is about 130 megahertz and we'll keep going down here in frequency you can see it's uh, quite broad here and we'll get down to uh, 122, 121 and uh, we end up at about uh, 119 megahertz for the 3 to 1 SWR point here and then we'll tune to the upper part of the band and as you can see even at the 2 to 1 SWR point now 
I have to tune my analyzer way up here uh, towards 172 and it's still reading quite low here so uh, as you can see this is quite broad so as you can see the larger the diameter of the driven element the broader the bandwidth 73 and thanks for watching in this video I'm going to do a little demo for you this is uh, generally speaking uh, driven elements on antennas the wider the di the bigger nah. <laughs>